today I'm going to show you how to make a piece of washi tape in Photoshop. So I've started here by opening a canvas. This one is six inches by six inches, which is a lot bigger than we really need, but I just like to start with some extra space. So I'm going to come and start by selecting my shape tool. And I'm going to use the rectangle, and I'm going to use this fill pixels because I just want a basic rectangle shape. I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer and then just kind of drag out a rectangle to whatever shape that you want. Alright, great. Now, to just give the edges a little realistic shape, I'm going to get the eraser here and I already have the brushes loaded that I mentioned to you earlier and so I'm just going to get them, make this a little smaller come over here and snip off the edge. We'll go ahead and do that on the other side. I'm just making it a little smaller since my tape is smaller. Alright, there you go. And then to give it a pattern, over here I have some polka dots that I'd already opened. And I'm just going to go ahead and select all, copy, and then paste. It's pretty big, but first let's right click, say create clipping mask so that it's only on the tape. Then I'm going to use the transform control T to make it smaller because it was too big. The pattern was too big for my tape. Alright, that looks pretty good. Hit enter. Sorry about that, my computer is pretty old and slow. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to kind of center these over here. And then I'm going to lock this layer. And I'm just going to fill it with my paint can to have a nice blue. Alright, and the last step is here. I'm just going to make this a little transparent, about 95 should be good enough and then it'll be just a little transparent when you do it. To finish here, I, can, I always like to come up to Image Trim to trim out the excess space and then you can go ahead and save it as a PNG and you can use it wherever you'd like.